Good morning, fellow adventurers. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing this morning? You doing all right? Doing good? I hope so. I'm doing all right, all things considered. Pretty tired, but I had stayed up extra late. Well, I slept in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Soda. Um, I slept in, I slept in nice and late till about five yesterday morning so that way I could stay up late to watch uh, a, str a different streamer and uh, I got about I don't know maybe half hour 45 minutes into his stream and we had a rainstorm and knocked the power out I'm like really one time or I made the extra effort to sleep in really late. I know you're thinking five o'clock in the morning is really late. It's like, well, I'm an overnighter, so yes. On my weekends, I normally get up at two, which is late because on the days I work, I get up at eight. So, but anyways, the power was off and on, off and on, off and on for probably about five minutes or so. And then it just kind of seemed to stay off and I'm like, guess I'm going to bed so yeah and I've been trying to catch this guy's uh, stream he's moved his streams a little bit later and he's out of New Zealand <clears throat> uh, Robert Hartley GM and so his stream starts the stream that I try to get uh, starts usually 4 4 30 in the evening which is way past my bedtime by about two and a half hours on a week on my weekend so but anyways enough about that I think it's time to pick up where we left off with our lady here so what do you say we get going we more th we uh more than likely won't get a visit from Mary because she's She's working, so unless she has a short day or something like that, or they have some kind of bank holiday, because Mary's out of uh, England. So, more than likely, <laughs> the way it has been, it'll probably be just me here <laughs> by myself. But you know, that's not gonna that's not gonna deter me because I enjoy playing this game a lot. And eventually, I'm sure this will take off. Yeah, it says up in the corner, Mary G offline. <laughs> okay, so I don't even remember what the heck we're doing now. Um, all right, I came to this way shrine for a reason. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> Okay, I'm there for... Oh, right, 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 right. The uh, bounty. And it's gone. It disappeared. So, apparently, it disappears while you're offline as well, which is really, really good. So, okay. Uh, so now we can talk to Vea. <laughs> okay, uh, so Vea should be... Wait, what is that way over there? Oh, the tower. Is that for Vea? Yep, talk to Vea. All right, so we're going <laughs> to go to Balmora now. Thank God the... Uh, that's, that's something that Mary had told me. Because, see, I usually don't play a game where you get a bounty. So, or if I do, it's really small. But that one, I just got to the point where I'm like, heck with it. It's gone to the down the crapper. We might as well just go ahead and finish it. Just go on a massive killing spree, which is what I pretty much did. So. But apparently, I mean, she told me that, because she found out that uh, your bounty will uh, lower in time when you're offline as well. So that's why I don't have just under two grand in bounty. <laughs> Thank goodness. Got a 
go talk to Veya. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jump over that. What is so hard about jumping over that thing? I've done it before. There we go. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Let's see. Oh, look. We can retake everything. Well, mostly. She looks like... What in the heck? Oh. <laughs> startled me. I knew she was in the stance. And I saw her standing in front of that practice dummy, but when she made that sound, I, I, for a split second, I was thinking that she was under attack. Oh, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, junk i got to get rid of. My inventory's full. I forgot about that. Um, collections. Um, assistance. Fezzes. Where's he at? There he is. Come here, Fezzes. Trade with Khajiit. <laughs> Trade with Khajiit. <laughs> All right, what do I have that I can sell? I need to Let's see. I need to break this stuff down is what I need to do. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Come on, Fezzes. We're gonna take a little trip before now we have to come out of here. Before we do anything. Cause there's for there's not a spot around here to do it. Wait. I can remember I gotta get back across the river because that's where the way shrine is. This won't take long. This will be quick. I forgot that I was that my uh, inventory was full. I know you're wondering, what in the heck is he doing? I'm going to go where I know everything is. And it's easier to get to. <clears throat> I told you I'd be coming back to this place a lot. Just because I, like, I know, that, I mean, yeah, I do get twisted around some, but it doesn't take long for me to reorient myself. But I know where everything's at. So I can just run in there, deconstruct everything, and get out. And that's what I'm going to do. Well, <laughs> once it loads. Well, let's go. Here we are. All right. Whoa, that was fast. Oh, the game hasn't completely uh, rendered yet. That's why there's all these... Which just looks like shadows. Because the game hasn't completely finished rendering. It's done that before. I don't really care. Alright, deconstruct. I want to make sure... Yeah, okay. Yeah, she got a new one, didn't she? Yeah, okay. Expert deconstructor. I'm going to keep that warrior poet piece for now. You know, so you can research. I'm not going to research. I want to keep it because it's uh, 
Add, well, it adds armor and maximum health. No, I don't like that after all. I thought I thought it gave more than it actually did. I was just thinking it's pro probably it's probably bound anyway. I was thinking about my other character a little bit that I started running the other day. She's going to be running da she's running with uh, just daggers, and I was wondering if it would be something I could send to her. But eh, she's not even close to that level. So from here, see I'm already getting myself twisted around. All right, there's, okay, so I have to go this way. What does that do, I wonder? Oh, I don't really care. Okay, well, I guess I gotta find stuff to sell now. Oh wait, I know. I didn't, um, well let's do this first. Alright, what now? Vardenfell. Oh, defiler stuff. Jeez. Right. So I do need I need to go to the bank too to get rid of some of this stuff. Um it's not what I was looking for. Oh, wait. Supplies? Yep, there it is. I already know that one. So I know that one too, huh? Yep. Already in your library. Okay. Uh... Oh, look at all that stuff I can... Ugh. Well, at least I know where to get rid of it. Oh, man. All right. Uh... All right. I got it off of all those uh, guards and stuff that I killed. I'd hate to destroy it all because that's a little bit of gold. I was just thinking, where the hell was I going? <laughs> oh yeah, the bank. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of two different places at the same time and my little pea brain kind of blended it all together. <laughs> Alright, let's do this first, because this won't take long. There's only like a couple of things I'm going to put in there. You can be a let's see, deposit. Where? That's health recovery, and she doesn't use that, so I'm going to put that in there. Why? Oh, can't? Oh, character bound. Fine, be that way. Ah. Uh. I don't know if I'll use these scrolls or not until later. So for now, let talk about, oh, character bound. Bound, bound. All right, so that one I have to keep on me. Fine. Put that in there. Ah, uh, furnishings. I'm afraid I'm gonna accidentally sell this thing. Put it in the bank for now. Let's see. Poisons. Go in there. Let's see. What is 
that? Huh. An effusion and then drams. Oh well, I'll keep a hold of the the drams. Let's see, anything else? I'm getting a lot of these mixture soul gems, which I don't understand, but alright. Down to 35 out of 90. That's be or 96. I speak. Oh, come on, really? That's because I've got all the stolen stuff on me. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're we're, yeah. we're gonna go. Uh, into the uh, where the where the thieves guild is. Was it here, or was it over here? Oh, right here. There it is. Yeah, Mary had to show me where this was at because I had no clue where there was the closest uh, uh, Outlaw Refuge, Thieves Guild place. So. I do you believe it was this way? It was all off to the left, and I'm not going to pick up any quests unless I have to. This is basically to find a fence and sell stuff. You want your goods spotless and clean? Make sure to come to me. Megara's fencing work is about as shoddy as a thievery. So, now see, I can sell all this stuff. we go that's that now we can get the heck out of here and go pick up where we left off ah right there knew it was somewhere <laughs> The Dragon King of Cats, Alkosh, Father of Dragons. All right, and now we are going back up to Bardenfell, and it should be talk to Vea right there. All right, now we're heading back to where we were. Right. Now, sometimes it's just, you know, something you, you have to do. You can't believe Lord Vivek wouldn't see worshippers today. You're just going to have to get rid of your stuff. You get too much and you got to get rid of it. I mean, yeah, I could have sold almost all of that, but... I want to be able to get my um, crafting skills up, and now we get to. Uh, oh, see, I was, I was, uh, I'd got down. Same at nineteen out of ninety-six when I was full. So we got rid of a lot of stuff. I said sometimes you just have to s step away and just go and get rid of a bunch of stuff, and that's usually the best way to do it. Is Sell what you know you, you don't want or stuff that you can only sell because you can't do anything else with it. Go to the bank. I mean, read, you know, if you have any recipes or patterns, you know, get them read so that way um, some of them disappear after you do so. Some of them don't. 
go through all that. Um, if you're planning on doing any kind of crafting, then go ahead and uh, deconstruct all the weapons you don't want. If you need the money, then sell it. But, I mean, money is not something you're really going to use a whole lot of, except for, you know, like I've mentioned before, uh, repairing your armor, buying uh, inventory bag space and bank bag space, and buying health potions. And that's probably pretty much all you're going to be using your money for. All right, let's talk to Back again. Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? Not that it matters. Oran's dead and nothing can change that. We know where to find the soldiers who were with Oran the day of the incident. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with Redoran honor. Still, I suppose I know a few ways to get people to talk. I don't think you should leave the safe house until Naryu gets back. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Look, I need to figure out who's responsible for Oren's death. House counselors, Redoran soldiers, Ashlanders, whoever it is, they need to pay. We also discovered that Captain Briven might have had a role in Oren's troubles. Briven was Oren's best friend. Did he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have handed me to my father, and you didn't. Other than Naryu and Asha, you might be the only friend I have left. All right. So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. Eyewitnesses are better than notes in the house registry, provided I can actually get them to talk to me. And she's happy we did all this stuff for us, and the thing she gives us is an executioner's hat. Or helm. <laughs> uh, Vatola Tellum Squad. They're scouting the old fort, but I really think we should wait for Naryu. There's no time to waste. That fort's near the cave where I was hiding. Last time I was there, the fort was crawling with cultists. We need to find them before Vatola and his soldiers wind up sacrificed to some Daedric prince. Vatola. <laughs> A few more moments. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed. I know the process. Turning in a rick can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave Naryu a note. She can meet us at the fort. I'm going. Either come with me or get out of my way. All right, I'll help you find the Redoran soldiers. Let me gather my gear and write a note for Naryu. I'll meet you near the Thlormoran stronghold. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am that we'll learn who's responsible for Oren's death soon. Then blood will flow. <laughs> blood will flow? Don't you mean a, don't you need a writ to kill someone? As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't apply to me anymore. Besides, to find the soldiers, we're probably going to have to carve a path through those cultists. The Morag Tang won't care about that. I thought Naryu was responsible for your actions. That's what the handbook says. Look. I know what Nari's done for me. To keep me safe, I appreciate that. But this is about what they did to my brother. Nothing else matters. Not Nariu, not you. And certainly not me. Don't force me to choose between you and Nariu. No, never. You and Nariu aren't my enemies. I just need to get justice for Oran. Otherwise his death will be the first of many. We have to be able to resist laws that make no sense or get people hurt without being afraid of getting exiled. Do you know Vatola Tellum? I know Vatola. He's a typical Redoran soldier, loyal to a fault, always spouting nonsense about house and honor above all. He was devoted to my brother, though. Ulran considered him to be one of his best. Why didn't Vatola stand up for Ulran at his trial? Oran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably told Vatala and his soldiers to remain quiet. Decided to take responsibility and save them any heartache. I hope these soldiers remember that when we find them. 
All right, so now we're headed to a stronghold that we have to go to because she's not going to leave us any choice. <laughs> Well, at least we know which direction we're supposed to go. Let's see. I want to see exactly where it's at. It's over there. Okay. Looks like it's just going to be a ride. I can't whistle. Okay, so we're headed this way, it looks like. Alright, so, am I going... Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Uh-oh. Wow. He didn't waste... He didn't waste any time, did he? Wow. He was just right there to attack. Did he leave us anything? Nope. He just attacked us. Splash, 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 splash. Leave them a little surprise. Feeling I had aggroed something. I wasn't real sure. But I did. I made a Durzog angry. I saw something glowing. Alright, where are we headed? This way. <laughs> oh, here's somebody. Oh, Nar is that Nar you? No, it's Vela. Vea. It's Vea. You're here. I'm here. The damn cultists are here. You know who isn't here? Battler and his squad. They're probably hiding. Or dead. They better not be dead. Have you seen Naryu yet? Naryu's probably busy clearing her writ, and we don't have time to wait. This opportunity to learn more about what happened to Oran won't last much longer. We need to find that squad of soldiers. Okay, uh... Let's see. You know the area. Any idea where we should look for the Redoran soldiers? Their orders were to scout the old stronghold. I suggest we search along the outskirts and see if we can pick up their trail. I was hoping it was we were going to be able to go back to that other option, but I guess not. Okay, so we've got one spot there, one spot there. Looks like we've got three spots. Uh, yep, all right, so... We're going to go this way. Hopefully we won't piss off too many creatures. Because there's a river troll. Nope, I see a little arrow. Thought I heard someone following me. I'll do that as soon as I get this... Get this wood. Hmm, haven't gotten beach before. Or at least, I mean, with this character. A bedroll. A bedroll. Still wrapped and ready to use. Standard issue for a Redoran soldier. 
All right. Well, that's all you gotta say. We're going to. Well, let's get this first. Another ore. Huh. I'm wondering. Uh, skills. I'm gonna go check our crafting. See if it's if other stuff has been thrown into onto it. No, it's still on one. I was just wondering why I'm, why I'm finding uh, other materials, which I think is higher higher up. I wanted to make sure it didn't do anything to us. Uh oh. Was a battle, wasn't it? Redoran officer's blade. A Redoran officer's sword. No Redoran soldier would leave that behind willingly. Okay, so. Let's see. Are they in the castle? It looks like they are. Oops. Darvel. I knew him. But the others, they're civilians. They must have taken Telen's soldiers inside. Well, then we're going to have to go inside, aren't we? Looks like that's the way to go, but what do you say we uh, upset a camp of baddies? <laughs> that's always for a laugh. Simple, of course it is. The raindrops on the chest is distracting. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want the sword. I'll take the coffer. Okay. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Because that sword is going to be one of those just level zero things. All right, so let's go this way. There's the door, but let's see. All right, we're headed in. This should be fun. Okay. Let's find the soldiers and get out of here. Oh. Stupid cultists realize what's happening. Hey, yeah. Uh... Who's there? We won't let you take us without a fight. Wait, Thea, is that you? Thank the three. You're all still alive. Is that just a, is that a soldier? I was just kind of wondering if maybe that was uh, Naryu sitting up there, judging. <laughs> I'm not sure what you and Bear are doing here, but let us out. Then we can return Bear to her father. Counselor Eris has been terribly worried since she disappeared. First, we want to know what happened to Ulrun. This isn't the time or the place to have that discussion. Get the key to this cage, and then we can find a private place to talk. Any idea where I can find the key to your cage? 
One of the cultists carries the key. I don't think he's too far away. We hear him patrolling around every so often. Free us, and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You have my word as a Redoran and as an officer. You find the key. Me and Vatala. We're going to have a little chat while we're waiting. Bea, I'm just trying to protect you. From what? The truth? Oh, please. I want to know who did this to my brother. Okay. We obviously don't want to miss anything. I know there was a guard there. At one time. Maybe he's on patrol. Bread, apples, meal, radish salad. Ugh. What is with you people and radishes? Uh oh. Okay, that was just dirty. I didn't move because that red beam was going towards the wall, not towards me. So I shouldn't have been hit. But, whatever. It's over and done with. They're dead. I looted them, so there's that. Great sword. But I know it's junky. Well, let's just grab it anyways. I can... I can always... If I don't run out of room, I can... Uh, deconstruct. Might get something, might not. So, but as long as I have room in my inventory, I might as well hold on to it. Hmm. Probably a mini bot or a lieutenant pelican. Ah. Another sacrifice for the mini boss. Bargains. Come on. <laughs> uh, great sort of shock. Well, not something I need, but... Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Alright, anything here? No. Oh, jewelry box. Okay. Cell key. Hey, wait. You can't leave us like this. another dead, dead soldier so they left well let's see what we got oh, I hate it when it doesn't show us the map it's just it's annoying So we have to head back over. I knew I shouldn't have told Bear the truth. I just made everything worse. Please let us out of here. We have to stop Bear before she does something she'll regret. Where's Vea? Tell me what happened. I told her what she wanted to hear. I was with Captain Ulran the day everything happened. I was commanded to lure the Ashlanders to town and set up a situation for Ulran to deal with. What kind of situation? My orders were to invite the Ashlanders to Balmora to trade, send some local toughs to instigate a commotion, and then get Ulran to investigate. It was just supposed to be a loyalty test. Who expected Ulran to kill his own soldier to save a savage? You said you were following orders. Who gave these orders? Captain Brivan, though he was still a lieutenant at the time. As soon as I explained all this to Bea, her face turned dark and she stormed out of here. I think she's going to Balmora to kill him. You need to let me out so I can warn the captain. Let's see. Uh... So we could do two things. We could either say, 
here's the key, but I, but I want you to stay out of this. I'll deal with Veya. Or, you led Ulrun into a trap and sent Veya off in a foul temper. I'm just going to leave you here. <laughs> that would be cold. That would be really, really cold. We're not going to do that. So, here's the key, but I want you to stay out of this. I'll deal with Veya. Thank you. Now, get to Balmora and stop Veya before she does something she'll regret. All right, so now we have to get out of here. Shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so... How far do we have to go? A little ways. Um... Do we want to just fast travel? How much is it going to cost me? 101. Ah, uh, I can afford that. Yeah. Why not? I made a lot more than that just selling all that stuff to that fence. Get your ass over here. here. alone for a couple of hours and everything goes to oblivion in an ore cart. Why did Bea leave the safe house? And why is House Redoran tearing the city apart to find her? Bea couldn't wait, so we went to find the soldiers who were scouting the old fort. You did what? I suppose you thought that was a good idea. Well, the damage is done. At least tell me you found something to make this debacle a little more palatable. We learned that Briven gave the order that led to Ulrin's banishment. That explains why Vea broke into the Kin House. I'm not sure what happened in there, but she certainly stirred up the Redrin soldiers. Vea might still be inside. Or she might have given them the slip. She could be anywhere by now. I can get inside and try to talk to her. If Vea kills Briven without a writ, the Morog Tong and House Redrin will both want her head on a silver platter. You check the Kin House. I'll grab Asher and see if we can pick up Bea's trail in the streets. Don't let me down, hero. <laughs> Gotta love Naryu. Well, I do. All right. Gotta go find Bea. That didn't sound good. What is with all the redder and soldiers? Did something happen? I wonder if it has something to do with the counselor's daughter. She's been missing for weeks now. Could be. Yeah, it looks like I'm headed the right direction. How about that? Scour the streets. Search the buildings. Vea Relath does not leave this city. They look funny with their horns. Stealing. I haven't really paid that much attention. Kind of looks either like a, uh, a beetle or almost kind of like a beholder. Hmm. Hmm. Now we can talk to this person finally. Young woman. She killed them all. Didn't say a word. Just walked in, drew her blades, and cut down every soldier who tried to stop her. I never saw such rage as I saw in her eyes. Where did this young woman go? She headed upstairs to, to Captain Briven's apartment, I think. I can't believe she killed all these soldiers. She didn't harm you? No, she, she totally ignored us. Just the soldiers. Nobody else was harmed. Okay, well. Anybody else we can what talk to? There's another one. <laughs> wow. Are they in here? Oh, her. I thought maybe her parents might be in here. Nope. 
dead soldier after dead soldier after dead soldier. Someone's enjoying themselves. No, oh, there they are. Right down there by the fountain. Hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> Captain Brevin! Are you dead yet? I hear somebody flipping a coin. Can't remember if I did this one or not. But I heard. S what is it? Oh, there's a note. A pierced note. You took what I love. Now I'll do the same. It actually, <laughs> it actually looks like there's a lot more writing on there than there actually is. I mean, look at the picture. Look at all that text on there. And then. In No one knows my pain. What's the meaning of this? Where are the soldiers? You just need to hold on, lady. There's a book here. Bait? Something like that? Malrum. If you're looking for my husband, I'll tell you the same thing that I told that brazen young woman. The council is meeting outside Balmra, and Brivin is protecting the councillors. Now, if you don't mind, I've had more than enough excitement for one day. The brazen young woman, what did she say? I could barely make sense of the nonsense she was spouting. It was Vea, Councillor Eris's daughter. Everything she said was a ramble. Something about my husband betraying her brother. That my Brivin had to suffer just as she was suffering. She didn't harm you, did she? She had a knife, but no, she didn't harm me. She said her brother wouldn't hurt an innocent that I wasn't responsible for his death. Do you have any idea what she was talking about? Because I certainly don't. Where is the council meeting you mentioned? You shouldn't get involved. That young woman will hasten her own death if she thinks she can get past my husband and his soldiers. But if you insist, the meeting is taking place at the garrison north of Balmra. You might want to seek shelter somewhere else. They left a trail of dead soldiers downstairs. Dead soldiers? They were just protecting the kin house. Oh, I'll go stay with my sister in Vivek. Riven is the finest soldier I know. He'll set Vea straight. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so now... Oh, I have to talk to Nar uh, Naryu. Okay, where is she? Gotta go downstairs? What was that? Oh, just a seat. Oh, come on. I could have jumped down for that. Like this. Please tell him you found Vea. I can already feel the cold steel of the executioner's blade on the back of my neck. Vea's going to the Redoran Council meeting to confront Captain Brevin. Is Vea trying to get herself killed? You can't just barge into a Redran garrison and ask the soldiers to stand aside while you murder their captain? We have to get to her before she gets to Brivin. They also left a trail of dead Redran soldiers in the kin house. She murdered soldiers without a writ. This is a dark path she's decided to follow. And unless we play this just right, it's not going to end well for any of us. Let's find Vea and put a stop to this. We can deal with any consequences after that. I'll meet you at the garrison outside the city. 
Yeah, it's getting ugly for Vea really fast. For all of us, really fast. All right, so I need to see where we have to go. Okay, outside the city. Is that the garrison? Yes, okay. So there's not really a fast way out. Or a fast way there, I should say. So we just just going to have to ride it. Now, it probably doesn't matter. Well, it'll be a, a tiny bit easier going across. Just wanted to make sure of that. Somebody was excited about something. Too excited, I would imagine. Well, I'm thinking about it. This isn't the side with the... No. I was wondering if this was the side with the stable masters. Okay. Right. It's a heck of a place to put a garrison past all this mess. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> heard that. I don't want any part of it. Not right now, anyways. Maybe a little bit later. Right now, I just want to get to where we're getting. Ah, a walking merchant. Or wandering merchant, I should say. Well, there's Nario. I don't like the looks of this. Riven is using war claws to patrol the garrison instead of Redland soldiers. Either house forces are stretched thinner than I thought, or Riven wants to justify the use of mercenaries to the council. Uh, what do the war claws have to do with anything? Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. We know Lorwan refused to employ mercenaries. He hated counting on thugs to do the right thing. I expect the Redland council feels the same. Riven's trying to show them what the war claws can do. We might have to fight our way through the mercenaries. The war claws may be a blessing in disguise. I can explain killing these bastards a lot easier than trying to wipe red and blood off my hands. Let's go stop Vea. I'm ready when you are, hero. Uh, how do we get into the garrison? There's no stealthy way to approach this. The front door's our only option. Then we track down Riven, find Vea, bonk her on the head, and get her out of here before she does something I can't fix. Easy as gore apple pie. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Are you? <laughs> so, we just have to go through the front door. All right. Hello. Avon. Here's somebody. Let's get things started, shall we? And here's another one. I'm just kind of curious if it would get that nixed with the explosion. Yes, it did. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Got insect parts from the. Oh, can't go up that way. From the Nixid, which is kind of gross. But I wouldn't think of Nixids as insects. I'm not sure what they would be. Some type of fae, I would imagine. Kind of like fairies and pixies and stuff. But just, I don't know. They almost kind of strike me like they'd be a little bit more 
a little bit more savage. If that makes sense. A little more feral. Or a little bit more wild. Boom. Barrels. Yeast. Redder and Garrison. Knock, knock. Hello. What? Something about not liking to be superstitious. Is that? Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. Not one that we can get to. See what's going on. Well, glad to see we all made it. Mm. Now let's find Brigham before Rhea skewers him. Hmm. Antiquity lead acquired. Wow, that just kind of took up the whole screen, didn't it? Anything else? I thought there was somebody standing there. There probably was. He probably walked away. Mm. Oh, that was something that could have been somewhat important. I need to learn not to do that. Look at the title first. Um, why is... Let's talk to her, see. Like many Ritter structures, this place is huge and designed to serve a multitude of purposes. We're going to need to split up to cover it all. We must find Brivin and keep him alive until I can talk some sense into my damn apprentice. What's Captain Brivin going to think about all of this? He's going to be as mad as a bull netch and twice as ugly, provided we can actually convince him we're here to save his sorry hide and that we're no part of a plot to kill him and the counselors. Just another day at the fair, right, hero? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Um, it's not giving us an option. Well, at least we know where we're, we just have to search. All right, let, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna stay here on this level. And just kill me some more claws. He's probably upstairs, more than likely. Either upstairs or downstairs. Let's see, I'll do bottom this floor first. It's like, am I going to loot everything? Absolutely. Everything I can. <laughs> she went around the corner and died. <laughs> that was great. I loved that. That was, that was hilarious. All right, where was I? I was just too funny. All right. Ooh.
Khajiit would lead the Dominion. Oh, that, that looks interesting. Leads to the sewers. Fish. There are like five fish on there and I got two fish fillets. How's that work? That's kind of a wicked cleaver axe thing. Cord with a a cord with a ring on the end that just goes up there. That's weird. Oh well, let's see. Anything? A seat, a desk. All right, let's see what's up here. Anything I can take? A drink, a drink. Um, no. Nope. Ooh, bookshelf. Um, uh, bookshelf. Okay, that's where I came in. So now all that's left to search is the center. Meal. What did I get? Salted. Salted cod, I think. It's it's hard to tell. I know you can't see because it's behind my ugly face, but it's in the uh, it's in the game chat window. So if people are yammering a lot, then I can't I can't see what it says. Radish. Why? I'm getting a lot of food. That's or a lot of a uh, well, yeah, a lot of crafting supplies. Ooh, beets and garlic. Well, I think I've successfully cleaned this room out. Um, okay, that's where I came in. So. Covered garrison cellar. Um, Nothing yet, eh? I hear voices behind this door, but it's locked tight. Keep looking, hero. Don't you worry. I'll keep looking. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs. There was right there. always good to look around and look behind things because you just never know sometimes that's where one of those chests could be uh oh <laughs> boy did he have a nasty surprise coming around that corner She almost sounded like they were part. Um, I don't want to say Argonian because Argonians they don't really hiss like a snake, and that person that uh, Khajiit kind of did. Well, she said yes. Captain Brivin is on his way. Soon we'll have a permanent job in House Redery. Yes. Kind of a weird place to keep an urn and a uh, jewelry box, but what are you going to do? Let's see. Right. Give them a little bit of a surprise. Heal me. Did you see that? My, uh... Skeleton was stunned. That was weird. I didn't know that could happen. He just kind of did the whole 
thing. That was, that was really weird. I didn't know that could happen. Jin, a ginseng sling, huh? Well, let's see what kind of trouble I can cause. Kill the intruders. They have interfered for the last time. I'm just gonna fry you to a crisp. Maybe. Oh, this is the leader. No wonder why she's taking so long. What's going on down here? It sounds like a you! What are you doing here? Explain yourself. I'll explain myself when I'm darn good and ready, Mr. Big Britches. I wanna make sure everything is looted. Alright, now I'll talk to you, you big jerk. What in the name of the three are you up to? I thought you worked for Counselor Eris. You better have a damn good reason for killing the mercenary leader. Not to sound the alarm and let her warriors deal with the likes of you. She doesn't have any. I killed him. I came to warn you. Vea knows what you did. She wants to kill you. Vea? She's barely out from under her mother's apron, and she presumes to judge my actions? No matter. Whatever your motives, nothing justifies the blatant killing of Ferrara and her mercenaries. Counselor Eris can't protect you this time, Outlander. What about your motives? Ulrin's exile and death are on your head. Ah, now everything becomes clear. Vea learned something of her brother's fate and wants to retaliate. And let her come. But know this. I merely set the events in motion. I didn't conceive a plan. Then who did? Tell me who's responsible for what happened to Alron. You're looking for the responsible party. Then look no further than Counselor Eris. He wanted to prove his son's loyalty to the house. To show that Oren's fascination with the savage Ashlanders hadn't corrupted him. Well, look how that turned out. The whole thing started as a test of Ulrun's loyalty? A test Ulrun failed. Eris was devastated when his son sided with the savages, and his daughter ran away. He decided to resign his position. He'll make the announcement today. Eris hopes to restore his family, but I think it's a lost cause. Especially if Vea finds out that her father set all this in motion. That's for Oren. Choke on your own blood, you bastard. My father, the entire council, they're all guilty. They all have to die. I have to do this, so stay out of my way. Maya actually did it. She killed Riven in cold blood. Yep, now she's gonna go make a real big mess. Maya killed Riven. Without a writ. It was pure, focused rage. I never expected her to go through with it. If Bea doesn't get herself killed up there, the Morog Tong will hunt her down and execute her, like a rabid boar. Her and me both. We can still save Eris and the rest of the counselors. I'm not sure they deserve to be saved, but that's what we have to do. Bea can't be allowed to kill the counselors. I... we have to stop her. It's more than me and Vea's lives on the line. Something like this could destroy the Morog Tong. What do you mean, destroy the Morog Tong? The Morog Tong only recently began to find acceptance again. Vea's actions don't just reflect badly on me. They could be used to force us back into the shadows, maybe even disband us altogether. We're both going to have to answer for this. What do you want me to do? We have to get ahead of her. Cut her off. There's a door on the main floor, near the kitchens, that should allow us to come at the council meeting from another direction. I was able to get it open when I was scouting around up there. Let's go. All right, let's go. 
Come on. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Jeez. <sighs> Sometimes they say, let's go, and they're in a big hurry. But then... If the mercenaries get in our way, cut them down. Nothing's more important. And yet I'm standing here looting. <laughs> well, you know, priorities. All right. So there's the door she opened up. Oh, I was expect wasn't expecting it to open like that. I'll get there eventually. I want to see if there's anything good. Because especially stuff, you know, a quest line like, like this where you can see stuff's building and you have to go somewhere specific to a, you know, a specific meeting point. Lots of times, well, I don't want to say lots of times. I'll just say sometimes there's a chance you will not be able to go back um, into other rooms, other areas. So if you're going to loot... Um, like a house, you know, do it while, you know, while you're there. Delves and stuff, you can go back as many times as you want, so you don't have to worry about that. But some special houses that you brought into uh, for specific quests like this one, we probably would never be able to enter normally. So if you're going to loot, do it, you know, we do it while we're here. Too bad I couldn't get that um, that shard. Well, it looks like we go upstairs again. Hello. Everyone, calm down. Counselor Eris will deal with this. We're safe in here. There's no need to panic. No need to panic. She's cut down every mercenary in her way. Her father won't be able to stop her. Faye is getting close. We're running out of time. It's okay. It's not like there's a timer, and thank God for that. That's one of my least favorite things on any kind of on any kind of mission in any kind of game, is when you have a certain time frame to get something done, and then a timer shows up. Oops! I thought I got it. Got it. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so... Oh, that is a neat looking coffer. That's cool. <sighs> Radishes. Alright, so now it's downstairs, is it? Yeah, apparently... Nord Trestle Braced, whatever that whatever that is. Oh, it might actually be a trestle, like like uh you have on the outside of your house. Like for uh vines and stuff. Alright, here we go. Meeting hall. Let me try to open this door. They are daughter I'm so sorry I never meant for any of this to happen come on stubborn stupid father why does the house really matter more than your own son I needed to protect Ulron to prove his loyalty if I could do it all over again but you can't none of us can that's why I have they to do this no. That's an order! I'm not your apprentice anymore. The house has grown corrupt, evil. That's why all the counselors have to die. Well, 
We already know what's going to happen, don't we? We have to fa we have to face Vea. But I'm going to make sure we loot the place before we do. It's for the same reasons that I've given. We may not be able to come back. Uh oh. No more rules. No more secrets. House redder and falls today. Enough, they are. This isn't the way. Bloodshed. So much needless death. If only Eris would have listened. Outlander, we should speak. I think we can help one another. Okay, um, the only place I didn't get to loot was right here. It's got too close and I pulled her aggro. Okay, that should be. Nope, I didn't get the dresser. And the jewelry box. Or that jewelry box. Yay, more goodies. All right. And this sucks. You, we don't get to loot him. We don't get to loot her. Usually when you fight a boss, you get to loot him. And she was a boss. Oh, well. High Counselor Marieth. The Morag Tong agent. She cares deeply for Vea, doesn't she? It takes great courage to go against your heart and do what you know is best. You both did that by protecting the council. For that, you have my thanks. What did you mean when you said we could help each other? A series of regrettable decisions led to this family tragedy, and most of them were made by Eris Relic. I knew of Oron's compassion concerning the Ashlanders. It was unorthodox, but not worthy of the punishment meted out. Eris was wrong. I thought the entire council was involved. Eris convinced Griven to test Oron. Then the two of them decided to slaughter the Ashlanders. Only the council allowed itself to be convinced that exile was an appropriate punishment. But we were wrong to let it go as far as it did. House Redoran doesn't want the Ashlander territory? I didn't say that. But we're not butchers. We do not hire mercenary thugs to wipe out an entire people. This gathering was to deal with that. Eris planned to step down, and we were going to demote Griven for the part he played. So what happens next? House Redoran behaved poorly. Morag Tong rules were violated. I suggest we make sure these details never see the light of day. Leave the bodies where they are. We will say that Vea died protecting her father and the council from the war claws. And what do we have to do in exchange? Cooperate with House Redoran and hold your tongues. It's as simple as that. I shall return to the council meeting and conclude our business. When we're finished, I expect you and Naryu to both be gone. That is all, Outlander. And there you go. Sweep it all under the rug for the betterment of everybody. Sometimes that's all you can do to keep everything from falling like a house of cards. All right, talk to Naryu, who's visibly upset about everything that's transpired. I'm not sure about this. It's a generous offer. But those are some big secrets to sweep under a rug. Besides, Vea isn't dead. At least not yet. She's still breathing. How is that a problem? The High Counselor thinks we killed her. The deal hinges upon all of us forgetting this sorry mess ever happened. Besides, once Vea regains her senses, there's every likelihood that she'll try to kill the Counselors again. 
You don't think we can can convince her to go along with this? When have I ever been able to convince Vea to do anything she didn't want to do? <laughs> There's redder and blood on Vea's hands. Once the Morog Tong ties those unauthorized murders to her, she's as good as dead anyway. And, more than likely, so am I. So how do you want to handle this? I don't see many options. We can either finish off Vea now, and go along with the High Counselor's deception, or we slip out of here with Vea and send her far, far away. She broke her vows and deserves to die. I know that, but it still feels wrong. Feels wrong because Vea is like a sister, maybe even like a daughter to her. That's why. So we have two choices. Vea deserves a second chance. We can worry about the rest later, or you said it yourself, Vea deserves to die. Well, you play it how you want. You know, I'm going, I'm thinking, you know, just like she said, when she comes to, she will probably try to kill the counselors again. She's gone down a seriously dark path that she may not return from. So I'm going with, you said it yourself, Vea deserves to die. Yes, you're right, damn it all. Vea spilled red and blood and now she has to pay. I'll take care of it. She's my responsibility. You don't have to watch this. Go, I'll meet you back in Balmora after it's done. I need to do this alone. Now go. I'll see you in Balmora. I was kind of hoping we'd stand and stay and watch it, but she's just going to stand there. So she's not going to do it while we watch. Which she'll probably just take her dagger and put it through her heart. Quick and clean. All right, so now we have to return to the safe. I wish I knew what that bunk was. Because nothing shows up on my screen anywhere. So. Jeez, they've got a, lo a large uh, line of sight. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think it's is it over here the way down? I could just jump down. I think that's what we're supposed to do is jump down. Or go up there and find some other way down. No. Nah. Accidentally killed a couple of bantam guars. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, not pony guars. Uh, what uh, Mary and I were talking about um, that I found out that the bantam guars are basically uh, Nern's version of chickens. Because I killed one yesterday, and when I looted it, I got poultry. So the bantam guar is some type of bird, even though it doesn't look like one. It's a lizard bird. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Let's see if it finishes them off. Yep. Okay, so we're headed out the front door. Return to the Morag Tong safe house. Okay, how much is it going to cost me? 101 to fast travel. We're going to do that. All right. So put a little bit more in my cup here. Need a drink. Right. Safe house, which I do believe is across the water, so 
Wait. Say, where am I? Duh. I was trying to think of where the um, stable master was. Lord Vivek wouldn't see worshippers today. He's a living god. I'm sure he was just busy. We should have waited longer. I know. But we're not getting any younger. We'll have a chance to see him again. Vivek City isn't that far away, you know? It's not, actually. Okay, safe house. I don't know why they still call it an abandoned cellar. It's not abandoned. It's a safe house. <laughs> So we, they should call it that, especially because that's what it's called in the quest. Oh well. But I can loot everything again. remember she's either just depressed or she's drunk or both I can't remember I'll know I might know better when I actually see her but I'm busy at the moment we'll get to her she's right over there let's see that well, she's probably drunk she, she she is drinking well let's talk to her Bea died quickly. I didn't want her to suffer any more than she already had. This was for the best. If I keep telling myself that, maybe I'll eventually believe it. And my head's still attached to my beautiful neck, so that's something, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't have a choice, are you? There's always a choice. Bea could have chosen not to kill veteran soldiers. She could have chosen not to kill her father. I could have chosen not to kill her. But hey, it seemed like the thing to do. Now leave me alone so I can finish my wine. You upheld your vows, and we stopped Bea before any other counselors were killed. What do you want, hero? You want me to say that you're right? Fine. You're right, damn it. We'll all keep more secrets, and everything will go back to the way it was. Look, I'd offer you some of my wine, but I don't want to. <laughs> At least we know what happened to Ulrun. Justice was served. Really? Is this what justice feels like? My apprentice killed her own father, and I killed her. We've got a lot of death, but not much else. Just another typical day in the Morog Tong. Look, it may not sound like it, but I am grateful for your help. Well, take care of yourself, Naru. Always, hero. Oh, hey, I, I want you to have this. Something to remember Vea by. For an outlander, I think she kind of liked you. I suppose I kind of like you too. Really, I'm not always this morose. Next time we meet, you'll see. Take care, hero. Complete quest. I need a nice warm bath. I hear the ones in Vivek are spectacular. I'd ask you to join me, but there's barely going to be enough room for me and my hangover. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try talking to her again, just to see if anything. Give me some time, and then look for me in Vivek, if you happen to be in the area. Once I finish adjusting my attitude, I'll make it up to you. I know a lot of ways to show my appreciation, hero. <laughs> yes, yeah, she apparently she flirts with you like that, regardless of uh, what sex you play. That's part of her charm. Ooh, 
No, I already did that. I'm like, ooh, bookshelves, dummy. You've already done that. All right, so I think we're done in Balmora. I think. Um, let's get a step out here and see what my quests are. I don't have, I only had that one. Well, so, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ride up and down and just check, look around for, uh, any quest markers. Cause that one is, is the tower and which one is that one? Talk to Saria. That's divine inquiries. When it says above, does it actually mean in this town? Which I don't think it does. No, it's up. That's uh, up there. Okay, so we might we might be done in uh, in Balmora, like I said. I mean, I know there's going to be the four glory. Um, I think the. Uh, what you call it? Yeah, the stable master's on the other side. That's okay. I'm planning on going going over there, anyways. But yeah, I think we completed another another town. Okay, so they're not on this end. They're on the other end. <laughs> Dummy me. Okay, that one's probably yep. That's for glory. So that's that's one we're not doing. So like I said, that's all battleground BS. Dylan, stop weaving. Oh, okay, I was just I was wondering what they were talking about. Yep, that's the for for glory one. Oh, I think it's over there, maybe, this time. Yep, all right. I'm going to go over there. It's like, yeah, I know. I missed it the last time. All I want to do is just get my one training point. Is that so much to ask? Ooh, too far, too far, too far. There we go. The Sylph Strider suffers from Morse blight, but the speckled Nixox makes a fine substitute. If you don't know what I'm talking about, forget I said anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speed. See, you can actually buy some, but they're expensive. <sighs> Excuse me. Ooh, jeez, look at my repair. Can you, oh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see what says ne uh, next to my ugly mug. It says air all, which actually says repair all. 537 gold. Yeesh. Yes, I want to repair it. Oh, you can preview these. Let's see. They're just regular horses, I guess. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, it's a paint. Well, duh. A bay. I was going to say that kind of looks like a bay. It is. Bay Dunhorse. Pretty. That's a bay horse stamina. Bay horse speed. Bay horse inventory. It's got saddlebags on his. And then one of all of them. Apparently you can get these. Um, I don't know if it's one that's maxed out. You can get these looks on them. I don't know, to be honest with you. But it doesn't matter. Huh, there's Naria. Let's see if we can talk to her, if she'll say anything new. You must have been so hard on Father. To have to leave us so often. To keep us silent while we grew cold and distant, even when he was here. It might seem odd, but I feel hopeful. Father and Mother are finally with us. Their memories will live on. 
All right, well, there we go. Okay, well, unfortunately, we can't... Well, we can't... Yeah, we can. Let's see. Um, so next, we need to... Because we rode up all along here, because that's how we got found that one. So we need to head to the Aldera Way Shrine, if that's the direction we want to go. Which, that's the direction I was going to get rid of uh, Bounty, so... Let's see. Um, yeah, we're going to go back across for the 20th time and use that way shrine to close the gap because we don't have a whole. He was that excited about catching a fish. Okay. But yeah, we we don't have a whole we got about twenty minutes left. So we can see oh I'd get talking and I was just gonna keep on going. Alright. That's what what we wanted. Boy, it's raining ash. Are we that close to Red Mountain? Close enough. Okay, so now we have to talk to Saren. Whoever Saren is is should not be that far away. That's Saren over there. I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there. The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Interesting. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal... You have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. I'm looking into something for Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. What kind of help do you need? Ashlanders are nomads. But we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. Who's your brother? My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. So what do you need me to do? Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. Your brother rules over the Ashlander tribes? No, just our tribe. Uroshilaku. Though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. Okay, um... Tell me more about Chodala. My brother and I have always worked to help our people, and improve the Ashlander way of life. He used to believe that peaceful negotiation was the best path to accomplish this. Recently, however, things have become different. He's almost like... Like what? No. That's not something I'm ready to talk about with an outsider. Perhaps after you prove your trustworthiness and willingness to help us, then we can discuss my brother in more detail. Perhaps. You said Chodala wants to unite the tribes. Are you planning to go to war? That's not our goal. But the tribes will defend themselves if necessary. No. We hope to present a united front and show the houses the folly of the path they've embarked upon. Turning away from our forefathers 
and God ancestors has made them weak. Tell me more about the Red Exiles. The Red Exiles? They're violent, dangerous Sashlanders who were banished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into their camp to talk. But he's been gone too long. I'm worried. You think I'll have to fight my way through the camp? As you saw, hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. We're here to negotiate. They're no better than thieves and murderers. If they spot you in their camp, you'll need to defend yourself. It's unfortunate, but they'll leave you no choice. Okay. <laughs> Into the camp to kick some butt. I'm fire resistant losers. Bunch of junk. Boy, he's going to get a surprise. And yet, I can't get that axe. That makes sense. What kind of stew? Cinnamon gore apples. Well, I don't know what gore apples taste like, but cinnamon, I mean, my cinnamon apples would taste really good. I saw an animal. Oh, it's just a scavenger. Well, there's something, but let's loot first. Because that's how we roll. I thought I could... Nope, I can't loot that sack on the floor. Jewelry box, dagger, soul gem. Yes! It's probably a Daedra heart. Meeting with Chotala. Notes on the meeting with Chotala. Uh, what is that? Nereverine? Uh, and wielder of Sunara, compiled by Scribe Dakin. Uh, Kundud <laughs> greeted Ashkan Chotala as Gulakan. Jeez Louise! <laughs> As Gulakan, Yes, Zashtan, and Nibapur, the fire breather, looked on, Chotala displayed no fear and showed Kund Ud a level of respect rarely given to tribal outcasts. We had lent him the use of a small war band of red exiles, but now he was here to negotiate a more permanent arrangement. Chotala began the meeting by explaining his plans for tribal unification stressing that there was a place for the Red Exiles in his unified vision. Kund Ud demanded to know why the Red Exiles should even consider returning to the tribes that banished them. Chotala appeared thoughtful before he replied, Because you are Ashlanders and our blood calls one to another. Then Chotala demonstrated the power of the staff our warband helped him acquire. 
He called the staff Sunara. Sunara grants me the strength of a god, Chotala said, striking a stone with the tip of his staff so that the stone cracked like the shell of an egg. Kun Ud ordered his champion, Gulakan Yazashtan, to put the blasphemous Ashkan in his place, but no matter how many times her sword lashed out, it never once touched or pierced Chotala's flesh. What kind of creature are you? Kunu demanded. I am the Nereverine, Chotala pro proclaimed, and Kunu Golakan, <laughs> Yuzashtan, and Nibapur uh, prostrated themselves before him. The Red Exile shall be my enforcers, and Yus Zashtan shall be my champion, Chotala declared. Prepare yourselves for my return. I have much work for you to do. Where are you going, Nereverine? Kunud asked. I need time to meditate upon our next course of action, Chotala said. Then I have a meeting with the wise woman uh, Davrasi uh, to ratify my claim as the Nereverine. Chotala departed and Gulakan Yus Zashtan went with him, thus ending the meeting. Holy crap, that was a mouthful. I might need a nap after that. Ooh. Noise. I just got three soul gems that I didn't have to buy. All right, so I have to go talk to Saren below, but I have to anger a bunch of red exiles first. Hmm, no zitches. Not a time for that to happen in the middle of a battle. Hmm. Clink, clink. Take out the sniper while he's not looking. And his buddies. Uh. <laughs> what does that one say? I'll investigate the tower. No, we're not doing the tower now. We're that the tower, we're leaving for third. You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? No, but I found this record of his meeting with the Red Exiles leader. Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no, I can't believe my brother would be so brazen. He called himself the Nereverine. Do you know what that means? It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Another scroll? Did Chodala write this? Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's the Nereverine and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. What's the Nereverine? You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander, and the house elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. The tribunal betrayed Nerevar? So our legends say. Nerevar united the Kaima and forged an alliance with the Dwemer. He died at the Battle of Red Mountain. We believe the Tribunal hastened his demise, despite Vivek's claims to the contrary. But where does the Nereverine fit into all of that? The Nereverine is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nereva will be known as the Nereverine. You don't believe Chotala's claim? 
while the prophecy of the Nerevering can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevering I believe in. You think Chodala wants a war? He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. Uh, tell me about Chodala's new power. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. What do you think is the source of Chodala's new power? Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. Okay. So, um... Why is there no other... No other quest to continue other than the tower. That's kind of it's kind of weird. Um What did I miss? Cuz it's not the it's not the tower. Whoops. Cuz the tower is way the heck over here. All right, we Let's see. I guess we'll head towards I know there was another uh, quest marker somewhere close. Somewhere. Where was it? Mm, I had seen one. I know I did. Well, let's see. Um, I hate to have to refight. Where? Wait, am I even going the right way? Kinda, yeah. I kind of want to head. Or did I go to the? Did I go to the camp already? Well, I mean, I know I went to the camp already, but I want to see if there was a a way out. But it looks like there's something past. The shrine. I knew I saw something. I knew it. Ah, a fellow outsider in this inhospitable sea of ash. I wonder if we might help each other. Dreleth Hilaron of House Redoran at your service. Though I doubt I'll be very useful here. This is Ashlander country, and they've made it clear I'm not welcome. It's my fault, really. I made a mess of their customs when I arrived. What happened? I'm researching for my family's ancestral tomb, you see. My research led me here, to Aldrin. It's hard to believe, but I think my family may have settled here for a time. When I arrived, I immediately started asking questions. I was... overzealous. So now they refuse to help you? Unfortunately, yes. I wonder if we might aid each other. Despite my missteps, I do know a great deal about Ashlander culture. I could help you earn their favor. In return, you could find out if they know anything about my family's tomb. That sounds fair. First, pay respects to Farseer Kwamta. She walks the red path this year, and it's customary to wish her well. Request to take part in the offering to the first Ashkans. Do that, and you should be able to ask their wise woman about the tomb. Where can I find Farseer, uh, Quamta? You'll see a great bonfire in the middle of the camp. She'll be there. Look for the woman with the blindfold. A blindfold? Part of the ritual honoring her ascension from Farseer to wise woman. The wise women guide the Ashlanders on matters of faith. Even the Ashkans defer to them. The blindfold represents the need to look beyond what the eyes can see. Why are so many Ashlanders here? 
the annual pilgrimage to honor the fall of Scar, the great Emperor Crab. The Ashlanders claim their ancestors united to bring the beast down. They gather here to celebrate the victory and bring offerings to the cairns of the first Ashkans. First Ashkans? You're a Dunma. Do you not know the story? The first Ashkans were the fathers of the four great tribes. They brought the Balothi people together to kill Scar. The tribes often quarrel, but here they're family. I wish the houses had such a custom. <laughs> See? Another one recognized our character as a Dunmer, and yet so many of them don't. It's like, y'all need to, you know, keep things straight, people. <laughs> uh, you mentioned the lost tomb. Yes, the Hilaron ancestral tomb. My family's crypt has been lost for centuries. Most of my kinsmen gave up searching for it decades ago. They assume it's been destroyed or lies too deeply buried, but I remain optimistic. Uh, how did your search bring you here? I discovered a tablet hidden away in an ancient Balothi temple. It contained a cryptic reference to my family. In the shadow of Scar, we found our home. The Ashlanders call the last Emperor Crab Scar, so the tomb must be nearby. Uh, why do you think the Ashlanders might know where it is? The tribes gather here every year beneath Scar to pay tribute to the first Ashgans. Do you know the old Velothi saying, all stones speak the truth? Well, no one knows these stones better than the Ashlanders. Alrighty then. See the Farseer's blessing. Okay, see that? I knew there was something we had missed. And I had seen... I had seen this uh, quest marker. Pequars. Aw. Oh, it's stealing. I always worry when it does that, that the game is just going to crash. I mean, I have had the game crash before, but it's pretty rare. Oop, let's avoid the ropes, because with my luck, I won't be able to jump over them. All right, there's Farseer Quamta. What's that? Perfume and incense. You have the stink of the great houses on you, Earthman. What brings a house Dunmer like you to Aldrin? And she knows I'm a Dunmer by smell. And so many people couldn't tell that that <laughs> that we're we're a dark elf. <laughs> I've come to pay my respects, Farseer. Have you now? Then you have my thanks, and my curiosity also. Outsiders rarely show us such respect. When they do, it is always because they want something. What do you want, I wonder? Only your blessing to participate in honoring the first Ashkans. Or Ashkans. Remarkable. You would honor our ancestor. Very well. I give you my blessing. You hesitate. Mm. They tried to seek a unique and worthy offering. You must place the gift at the foot of each Ashkan's cairn. What offering should I bring to each cairn? For Ahimusa, an ashen fern. For Erebin Insul, the weapon of an exile slain by your hand. For Urshilaku, the bones of a Gwar returned to ash. And for Zainab, the hidden treasure of a Kwama queen. We will see how much fire you hold in your heart. I heard you were becoming a wise woman. Yes, though becoming is a clumsy word for it. Every daughter of Velas has worth. When we learn to speak with our water tongue and read the truth in the stones, we also learn the truth of our hearts. The truth is, we have been wise all along. Okay, well, let's see. Well, I think... I mean, we've got stuff to do, but I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. It is 10 o'clock. I've got to go to bed in an hour and a half to get ready for work. So I still got 
couple of little things to do. Uh, Mary G will be off work in about an hour. And so we usually try to visit a little bit each day if we can. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it. So I'm going to get us logged out here. What's social? Ah, oh, mail. She must be the, uh, yep. Let's go ahead and take care of that. There we go. I'm not sure what the, oh, the antique stuff, the the scrying stuff. Yes, I know. Whoops. All right. There we go. All righty. So, <laughs> that's going to do another episode, another adventure with our girl, Raven Shadow Speaker, in Vardenfell. So, I wonder what's taking her so long to log out. Come on, girl. What's the deal? Let's try it again. She didn't want to. Let's, I didn't hit anything, so we're going to try it again. We're going to actually wait before I change my screens. There we go. All right. <laughs> Did it that time. For some reason, it canceled itself. It's like, I don't want to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, folks, that's going to do it for, uh, for today. Um, so I've got another... Trying to remember, I think my next one should be Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I'll have to go and change my schedule because, like I said, until I get further, it only allows me to schedule like every single on the on a day of the week I choose. So I can't choose one day and then the other, uh, or one day for one week but not the next. So until I get until I get more followers, I'm just going to have to go and just swap that one out every week. Uh, so like I said, my next stream will be, um, should be Saturday, uh, Saturday morning, same time that this one started. So anyways, thank you all uh, that come to watch this. Um, it, you know, I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hopefully some of you will be able to catch me live, <laughs> you know, amongst your busy lives, your work schedules and whatnot. And, you know, make sure, um, to come to Twitch if you happen to be watching this on Facebook live, or if you're, if this is an older video and you're watching it on YouTube, make sure to go to, uh, my Twitch channel. Um, twitch.tv forward slash Grim Fury, G capitalized, and give me a follow. But um, I put up streams uh, three days a week. Um, for now, I'll probably increase later on, but for now, I just want to do uh, three days, uh, go from there, and we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I've been at it for about a month and a half now. Between a month and a half, two months. So I haven't been at it that long. <laughs> so anyways, thanks again, guys. Uh, please, you know, come in, watch these videos, give a follow, tell your friends, family, loved ones, all that stuff about it. And help this, help this grow. Help my channel grow. Maybe we can get a good community growing. A bunch of people in chat, all kinds of good stuff. I have a Discord that I, um, that I, that, um, well, I have a Discord. I don't really use it per se. I've got an, um, that Robert Hartley GM that I mentioned. I have Discord for him. So I could put my own channel in there. So that's not a big deal. But we'll work on that later. So anyways, folks, thank you again uh, for joining me. I hope you guys had a good time. And we'll see you Saturday with uh, some more adventures in Vardenfell with Elder Scrolls Online and our girl, 
Raven Shadow Speaker. <laughs> so take care, everybody. Love you guys. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>